I'll be like, hey guys, you say howdy and then you do the intro. Did you want to also say our names? Yes. Okay. We're going to try and do that this time because we forget every time and everyone's like, we're torn to weird. Blah, blah, blah. No one says that, but imagine. Imagine if my name You're was Christine. Christine. I'm Monique. Hi guys, I'm Christine. And I'm Monique. Try Mo. Try that it. sounded really weird Just coming say out Mo. of my mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Hi guys, I'm Christine. And I'm Mo. I sound like a newscaster. <laughs> and I'm Mo, and you're watching The Roomies Digest. Stay tuned for the February TBR and a lot of jokes. And yeah. Okay, for real. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum. Duh. Hey guys! Howdy! My name's Christine. And I'm Mo, and today we're bringing you our February TBR. Uh, we've got a bunch of books planned, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so first we're both going to be reading Building You Up by Alex Aller. It's our great friend. She wrote her first debut novel, and I'm really excited to read it. So, yes. We will have a link down so you guys can buy your own copy. She has a, um, can't even think of words, a companion soundtrack because yes. she's also a phenomenal musician. We actually know her because she's a musician and yes. we went to a show of hers and met through mutual friends. And now here we are. Here we are supporting her first book. Yes. So yes, I can't wait to read it. I think it's about a coming of age novel about a young girl or a group of friends trying to like make it through high school or something i think so what's that i'm really excited for that one and then the other book that we are going to be both reading this month is the x talk for the sugar and spice book club which is hosted by our good friends kirsten from kirsten's corner and manda from ginger snapped reads we're gonna be co-hosting this month in february with them so we're really excited i actually don't really know that much about the x talk other than the fact that i think it's a podcast giving advice about love but we're excited to read that yes their first pick for January was The Simple Wild, and it was a good choice, so I have good Chef's a good kiss. feeling about this. Ooh. I am going to be reading the prolific <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses <laughs> for the first time with Noelle from Noelle Seven Pages and Maria from at Ria Reading on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Maybe others will join us. We're starting it, I think, February 15th. Don't hold me to that, but that's the week we're going to be reading this for the first time. So I have no idea what it's about. Fairies or something. So I, I honestly I don't know, actually. feel like you should vlog it just because it's more interesting when people have never read it and they vlog, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm comment down below if you agree. Are you doing any other buddy reads this month? I'm thinking if I have time, I'm going to try. We haven't planned out the details, but also I'm going to try and get to the second book in the Southern Reach trilogy. I don't have that copy with me right now, but it's the second book after Annihilation. I will put it up somewhere around us. But that's if I have time. We haven't made any like hard, solid plans. so Yeah, but those are like thinner books, so I'm yeah. sure it's like easy to kind of get into. Exactly. Okay, so for my buddy reads this month, the first book that I'm going to be reading is The Unhoneymooners. I know this copy it looks a little funny, but I got it from Ollie's. So that's why it's got the Ollie sticker. I am reading this with a ton of my other booktuber friends. Um, it's actually like a group of five of us. So I'm really excited. This is going to be my first Christina Lauren book. And I have heard nothing but good things. The Unhoneymooners is basically about a girl and a guy who go on a honeymoon after everybody in the wedding party who was supposed to go gets sick and can't go. And they actually kind of hate each other. So I'm thinking it's an enemies to lovers. And yeah. That sounds very cute and I would like to read that for you. Okay. okay. You totally can. So Monique may be reading this as well. <laughs> we'll see. The second book that I'm going to be reading is The Echo Wife. I actually haven't asked Grace if she wants to buddy read this with me, but I <laughs> <laughs> just assumed it. If well, you're watching this, please buddy read. This is the embarrassing. Grace is like a speed reader, so I think that's the only reason why I would be like, uh because she reads books so quick and this book is not very big. But I know about The Echo Wife because of her. I actually entered into a giveaway for this book and won this book. I've got an extra copy and I'm sending it to her because I wouldn't know about The Echo Wife without her. But basically the premise of this book is there is a woman scientist. She figures out how to clone people and then her clone maybe sort of takes over her life. We'll see. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it's a thriller. I would also like to read that next Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going into my like thriller goal 
goals for 2021 is completing that. So I'm really excited for this book and I'm like so grateful to Grace for actually talking about it on her channel. So I'm going to link that below in case you guys are interested. You can go and see some of her recs. Okay, the next book that I'm going to be buddy reading is going to be The Great Alone by Kristen Hale. Okay, I have heard so many good things about this book from Kirsten from Kirsten's Corner, as well as a couple other booktubers. But Kirsten is like the champion of Kristen Hannah right now. She like loves all of her books. So I sent this to my mom for her birthday and we're gonna buddy read it together. So I'm really excited. Um, but basically it's about a family who inherits some property in Alaska, decides to move up there because the father is having like issues with PTSD from the war. And it's about them kind of trying to survive because in this part of Alaska, they literally have no civil civilization. They're pretty much out there by themselves. So I'm really excited to be reading that. I'm really sorry. I have a really long list this month. <laughs> sorry. And then this is like not necessarily a strict, strict buddy read, but it's like a buddy channel read. If you guys know Books with V, she has a discord where her channel reads like a book together every month. So it's kind of like a book club, kind of like a buddy read. I don't know. But basically the book that I'm going to be reading for that this month is the, is it The Secret Life of Addie LaRue? The Secret Life? Oh, that's this month? I'm also reading that show. Are you? <laughs> what the I thought that was next. That is next Yeah, because month. the Starless Sea is next month. I've got it on my thing, but we have to read it in like the next three days because it's a library hold. Oh, I got confused. I thought March was the... Okay. I will also be reading <laughs> The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue along on... with Christine. <laughs> For uh, Vicious Channel. <laughs> yes, I need... This is also another sign that I'm trying to find a better calendar for myself, so... <laughs> Okay, so we'll both be reading that book. It's basically about a woman who makes a deal with the devil and she lives forever, but no one can remember her until suddenly 300 years into her exile, she is remembered by a young man. Okay. I'm really excited for Addie LaRue. I feel like a lot of people are saying it's really slow and really character driven, but a lot of people said that about Cersei and that was a five out of five book. Okay, so I'm really excited to compare and see what it's all about. Anyway. Yeah, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about that one. Yeah. And I've never read V.E. Schwab, so that is exciting. That I did not realize that was next month. I yes. thought I had to wait a little longer. Yes. All right, and great. it's nice because my library hold came in and like, you know, the library is so sketchy. I was like, oh, yeah. wow, but you I think really I'll did just that. Get a Kindle version. And then the last like kind of channel read, I think this is actually a read along technically, but there is a book on Noelle Seven Pages channel called Scythe. All of us know what it's about, but that is going to be a read along for the whole entire series. They're starting with the first book next month. So I will also be reading Scythe. It's in a world where death doesn't exist anymore and people have to call the size. They have to actually kill people. And I don't really know much more about that. I think I'm going to like it. Anyway. Morgan really liked that book. I have Morgan? it on my list. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so maybe you'll get to know. that too. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to have time, but let me just a lot of them. Okay. But we'll Keep see. Adding. Yeah, I have a lot of books this month. I'm confident I can get through it. So anyway, what's next on your list? I don't even know where to start. Uh, I'm going to be f trying to finish Ninth House. I started at the beginning of the month, but then I didn't have really a place for it in like the readathons I was doing. So I put this on the back burner. So now I'm hoping I can get into it and Prior finish prioritize. it. Prioritize? Yes. Yeah. So mm. that's that. Continuing on with the Shadow and Bone series that I'm trying to get through before the new book at the end of March, I'm going to be reading Ruin and Risen. Ruin and Risen? Ruin and Rising Sorry, Southern. <laughs> and Six of Crows this month. So I'm basically going to be reading these two books and then the last two books next month. Of course, this will complete the trilogy for The Shadow and Bone. This is my favorite book in the trilogy, so I'm really excited to get to this one. And then, of course, Six of Crows, which is my baby. Mm. I can't wait to revisit this book. Wait, how many, how much how time do I have till the show comes out? The show comes out April 23rd, so oh, we have plenty okay. of time. Oof. But I'm trying to read them before the new book, which is the end yes. of March. understood. I thought, I was like, Lord, so, I'm going to have to also do an audible and read season star. I've been putting it off. So those two books as well next month. And I'm trying to get back into my roots of thrillers. So I picked this up during like Black Friday a couple months ago and it's Harlan Coben's The Boy from the Woods and I generally like his stuff. The shows that they make from his books I like too so I feel like this is just a good 
go to. I've heard a lot of people talk about that on their TBRs, so oh. that's exciting. I didn't. I just picked it up from the store. It was like buy two get one free. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, here we Target. go. Target. So I don't really know much about it, but I know it's gonna be a fun ride. Cool. The other books that I'm gonna be completing in series in anticipation for other books coming out will be A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Frost and Starlight. Yeah, what more can I really say about this? This is in the Akatar universe. If you guys have read any of those books, you know what these are about. This one's more of a novella companion novel and it sheds a lot of light on the Cassian and Nesta romance, if that's what you can call it. So I'm really excited because these two, I love the second book in this series but this one is just so action-packed so I'm excited to get these too okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna read the wedding date uh just something quick and a little romance I'm so excited for that book um so I don't really know what's about I think they like meet in an elevator and go to a wedding together mm-hmm. and, and these are the kind of books that can like knock out on a quick Sunday afternoon yeah, so and squeal and throw the book the, and... exactly so I was like this I do need to add at least one of those to my TBR okay and then the next book that I'm gonna be reading next month my other baby Outlander I've actually never read this book all the way through so I'm going to restart it and hopefully um, finish it next month but I am anticipating doing a buddy read of the second book in this series the dragonfly and amber I believe with Caroline from uh, actually her channel is just Caroline Johnson but yeah Caroline because she has read Outlander and she's on to the second book so that is why I'm going to be reading the first one if you guys don't know what Outlander is about it is about a 1940s nurse who gets transported back in time I think like 200 years right before the Scottish rebellion from the English she's There's, obsessed with this TV I show. love Outlander so much y'all okay Clanlands also I haven't talked about it yet because it I haven't finished it yet, but I'm like almost done with it. I am loving that book and I know it's only for Outlander lovers. So like, don't go read it if you don't know anything about Outlander. But like, I literally love Clanlin so much and I love this series like Stars. You really did that. So I'm excited because I know that the book is different than the show and I'm hoping that the book is just like so much better. But the show is already so good. Okay. You're already winning. You're already winning. I'm already so excited. Okay. And then I'm going to read Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. We got this from Kirsten from Kirsten's Corner. And she loves Fire on High, mm-hmm. if I'm remembering correctly. If not, I'm so sorry. But she really likes this author. And I've never read anything by her. So I'm really excited to get to it this month. Yeah, this looks like a really good book. I was just kind of flipping through it because the storyline's pretty cool. There's like a little bit of prose in there. Yeah, and then I'm also going to try and read a nonfiction book this month. My goal was to read it one every month, but I didn't read one last month. But we'll get into that in another video. But I'm thinking I'm either going to do um, Women in Race by Angela Davis or But Some Women Are Brave. I think that's what it's called. It's like a black women's study. And I feel like that's, you know, good to know. Good mm-hmm. to know the, the roots of everything. So, But Some of Us Are Brave. Black women's study. So I'm going to try and see if I can get that from a bookstore. And we'll decide on if you read it or not. Exactly. (laughs) Whatever is there. Our favorite bookstore. We already know. BNN. Okay. The Iliad. We're going to the used one. Oh, we are? We're going there today? I thought so. Okay. Cool. JK, we're going to the Iliad. Yeah, okay, and then I have a couple books checked out from the library this month as well. I'm going to be reading three more books from the library. One is going to be an audiobook called Legendary, which is the second book in the Caraval trilogy. I loved the first book. Y'all will see it in the wrap-up. I was obsessed. Like, give me a carnival, give me some fantasy, give me enemies to lovers, and I am there. So this is going to be a continuation into that trilogy. I am so excited for that one. The other book that I'm going to be checking out is The One by John Mars. I have heard from literally all of our friends on booktube that this book is so good so i'm gonna be delving into it i actually have no idea what it's about i think it's a thriller i don't know i don't know (laughs) our friends wrecked it i was like yes it's available at the library i'll check it out and then last but not least i'm going to be reading black sun which our good friend jayla from la la loves lit has wrecked she's talked about it so much she said it was so 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 good all i know is that it's a fantasy book I think. I don't know. The library ones were really just books that I was like, oh, it's available. Check. And put it in my cart. So. Yeah, I have a few of those too. I'm 
planning on reading, or I am listening to Educated by Tara Westover. Is that the one with the pencil on the front? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but it's a really different take on a memoir, I what? feel like. Oh, it's, it's like a memoir? About, okay. It's like a memoir. I think it's like based on, like about Mormonism or Mormons and her like experience with that. So I didn't get too far. Like literally I'm 15 minutes in. So, <laughs> so literally 1%. Yes. Um, the yeah. introduction. But yeah. And then last on my list, I'm going to be reading Becoming Michelle Obama because <gasps> you are yeah because i was just so inspired by the inauguration y'all i really i was crying her outfit was slapping i was just like <laughs> they all low-key all of them were they were like we about to stunt because we taking over anyway i i just have been wanting to read that for a while and why not good choices good choices yeah. anyway is that it and i have one more i'm saving the sad one for last why is this sad because last episode of season five is coming out. Of The Expanse? Of this weekend. Yeah, but the books are probably so much better. I know, but, you know, I just, you know, the show I love so much. And to fill that void, I've decided I'm going to start the book series. So it never ends. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is literally the reason why I'm starting sci-fi books this year, guys. Because of The Expanse. And now I own the book. Leviathan Wakes. That is it's a lot kind of, sci-fi. of it's kind of big, but I already like the story of the show, so I feel like I would like the plot of the book and maybe even give me some more insights. I already know what the characters look like. I already like my favorite ones, so I am very excited to read this. I'm excited for you to read it too, because if it's good, then I'm gonna read it. So I like want to start the Expanse. I just have not you had have time for to. TV. It's so good. I'm trying to get through LA's Finest right now. They have some plot twists. I was like, ooh, ooh. The movie that you've been watching for days? No, LA's Finest is a TV show. LA's Finest is a TV show? It's based off of Bad Boys. I thought it was a movie that was like a women's version of Bad Boys. No, it's a TV show. It's got this like two whole seasons. Two seasons? It's really good, too. I love it. It's got That's... Gabrielle Union and Jessica Alba, as well as, like, other players in there that are, like, Okay, my I didn't realize it was a TV show. I might start it, because I was literally going through Netflix last night trying to find anything anything to watch that's somewhat different than what I normally watch. So I went, I landed on Jericho. Ooh. <laughs> so anyway, that's a size point. But yeah, side, I'm very side note, excited LA's to is... know that that's a TV show. Yeah, it's really good. There's definitely a plot point that you'll probably guess because I guessed it. So like, you'll probably be ten times ahead of me, but good still really good. Me. So All right. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, guys, that is our February TBR. A very long long list but we'll see what makes it and what does not what right. makes it and what does do we not. have any five star predictions just right off the top um outlander for me court of wings and ruin six of crows the great alone the echo wife that looks good it, it looks short. good i'm not sure if it'll be five star though because i don't know much about it so maybe and then so the you're just went through all your books just now <laughs> I have a really I said, good do you have list. any five star predictions? And you said pretty much everything I said just this last ten minutes. <laughs> I'll say this. I'll say this. The ones that I don't think will be five stars. No, you can't say just the ones you didn't mention. <laughs> you already said it. All right. I don't know. I think this is probably my favorite list of a TBR so far. Like, I love everything on my TBR, and I know I'm going to blow through this. Like, I know y'all are like, this is 25,000 books, but it's about to be 25,000 five-star books, okay? I'm excited. I was going to say, I really feel like this is going to be five stars. I don't want to say I'm biased, but... I'm ex I'm so excited. Like, it's the fact that I'm even holding the book is already adding stars, but anyway. Yeah. So that's that. And ooh, and this one looks really good. Like, poetry is. You're literally about to do the same thing I'm not about me. to do the same thing as you. I'm have these two on the top because that is what You don't I'm think the wedding do. day is going to be five star? I don't really give a lot of romance five star unless you're called the hating game. But anyway, so that is <laughs> the conclusion of our TBR plus the ones I didn't know I was going to read. So I'm going to be like 12, 13 per. Uh, yeah, mine's a lot. There is list. no way I'm getting, we'll see. I'm going to try my hardest. It's ninth house for me. I really don't think I'm going to finish that. Now that I have to read Siege and Storm and Addie LaRue, I don't have to read Siege and Storm. Take that off. Now that I have to read Addie LaRue <laughs> and, um... All right, let's wrap it. Okay. All right, guys. So that is our February TBR. A long, long, long list, but we're hoping to get through it. So check in with us at the end of February and we'll tell you what we got to. 
And like always. Like and subscribe. And comment and share and do the thing if you feel the need to do so. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time. We war. A vie de chez. Salut A G. To you and you and you and you and you. And you. Do 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 do